in a game two standard two stand two standard six sided dice are thrown one is painted red and the other is green uh, you have two dice one red and one green each die is numbered from one to six the red die is thrown first followed by the green die three people Jan Joey and Jim play the game so what's the rule of the game if the total is more than six Jan wins okay so you can say if it is greater than six who wins Jan wins okay the second rule is oh, how does jo Joey win okay joy or Joey Joey if one of the one of the dice is two or three that means if you have two or three in one of the dice who wins Joey wins and finally if the number on the red die is greater than or equal to the number on the green die then Jim wins so you can say the first number has to be greater than so you can let me write like the first number first number say first number let's say first number is the number on the uh, red first number is the number on the red die is greater than equal to the second number which is on the green die so let's define the first number as uh, the die sorry the number on the red uh, die and the second number as the number on the green die if that first number is greater than or equal to the second number who wins Jim wins so these are three conditions so when you have this type of problem you can't get the answer until you do some diagram draw some dry diagram <coughs> so the question is using suitable method show who has the best chance of winning so this is a question of probability so let me talk about so so we're going to define like this suppose you got the red die you got the red and the green die okay so let's say the uh, the red die is the first number and the green die is the second for the second number so how would you define it so let's say if you write one one what does this mean this means you got one on the red die and one on the green die okay if say it is a four two it means you got red on the first die and green on the second die now to answer this type of question it's good to make up a table I already made the table so 4 2 yeah okay so this is the red the first number so let me drag this up slightly so the red is on the top and the green is vertical okay uh, so here one one so I have defined this so can you see this this four two means four on the red die the first is defining the first number defines so this is four two that means you've got red so you got four on the red die and two on the green die so this is what it means these numbers means so I've also defined so we, let's we need to do uh, crosses okay let's do a tick for Jan so what's the let's think about Jan so Jan wins when the total is greater than six so let's put a tick for every outcome where the total is going to be greater than six so one one is less than six one plus one is two so this is less than six one plus two is three so this is less than six this is less than six this is less than six this is the only one which is greater than six okay so let me use a different color for each so this is say for Jan this is less than six so this is greater than six I hope you see the pattern you can pause the video and try to finish it off so this is uh, less than six this is up equal to six so this is you can see a pattern developing in the first row you had one the second row two the third row three for the next row you'll have four four ticks one two three four and next you'll have five ticks can you see a pattern developing so when you 
make up a table, you work in a systematic manner, you can find life very easy. So this is, you've got six ticks. So let's count just the number of ticks. So this is six. So let's add it here. So you've got six plus five is six plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one. So this is a simple pattern. So here 11, 15, 18, 20, 21. So let's go back. So you can see the probability of Jim winning is first, it's total, there are how many outcomes? So let me go back. So you got six across and six down. So you got total 36 outcomes. Out of them, 21. There are 21 outcomes which makes Jim the Jan the winner. Sorry, not Jim. Let me write Jan. So this is Jan. So the probability of Jan winning is 21 out of 36. Okay, so we need to go very slowly. So let's look at the next possibility. We will do a cross for Joey. So the Joey wins when you have two or three on the die. So you'd only look for number two or three. So let's put a cross for. So you got this is Joey. This is Joey. This are not Joey. So this is Joey. You have to only look for two or three. Okay, so this is. It doesn't matter if both two and three, it should be two or three. This is Joey, this is also Joey. This is not Joey, this is Joey. This is Joey, not Joey, not. So this is Joey. Two or three is not here. Okay, so now let's count the crosses. So you got there is no seemingly pattern, so we need to count. So you got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So out of thirty six, there are 20 ways in which Joey can win. So the probability of Joey winning, the probability of Joey winning is 20 out of 36. Now for the last, I want you to do that yourself. If the number in red die is greater than or equal to the number on the green die, I already worked that out. For Jim, it would be again be 21 out of 36. Okay, so here the probability of Jan and Jim winning is greater than Joey. So the best chance of winning is for Jan and Jim and the lowest chance is Joey.